I broke a Tangling with Catfish rod. It was the Monster Edition rod. And I called Tangling with Catfish and they sent me a replacement rod. Uh, they're an awesome company. I, I spoke with, uh, with I think, believe the owner on email and he responded immediately back to me. Um, he even let me know that it was out of warranty by, by uh, you know, six months or so. But the fact is that um, I showed them where, where it broke at and they were understanding, they were awesome. And they went ahead and sent me a replacement. So guys, I'm gonna kind of already opened up the top of this. Let's get this thing out of here. If I can get this thing off. Oh, okay. I already did one review on these rods, but the reason why I contacted Tangling with Catfish initially was because I was so surprised at where it broke. So if you guys haven't watched my video where I snapped my rod, um, I'll show you a small clip here. Guys, here's my here's my broken tangling with catfish monster rod. Guys, look how tangled up this fish is. All right, so that's what happened, and it was in such a weird place where it broke. And since I had it on camera at a couple different angles, they went ahead and said they would make an exception, and they would just made me pay for shipping and gave me hundred dollar rod for free, guys. I'm not sponsored by Tangling with Catfish. But what I can say is this, my experience with their customer service is top notch. With Tangling with Catfish, I appreciate them for their customer service, getting back to me, making an exception. They said that, you know, they thought it was actually a pretty weird uh, way to break it. And it was out of the character of their company to see that break like that. So they wanted to, to make sure that I got taken care of it. And I appreciate that. Um, a lot of these rod companies are popping up. There's, there's a lot of them nowadays, guys. And so, um, a lot of these these rods will do the same thing. A lot of these blanks are made the same way. Some of them are better. I think this one's definitely a better quality um, rod. But the thing is, is that there's a lot of rods out there that are quality rods. If you're looking for a rod, I suggest tangling with catfish just because uh, at the end of the day, the customer service is great. If something happens and you're not happy, the thing is, is like they will at least help answer and within hours almost, if you email them, uh, they will definitely get back to you guys and make sure that you guys are happy with your purchase at the end of the day A lot of these rods do the same exact thing But it's customer service that counts to me. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you If you guys are looking for a rod tingling with catfish is the way to go Well, I sold my boat if you guys have noticed I haven't had any we haven't had any videos of uh, the boat, us on the boat, um, last year in the fall I sold the boat. We were looking to do an upgrade, um, mainly because of the engine size and just some of the different currents. We wanted to kind of start hitting a little bit more of the Missouri River. And the thing is, is that I didn't realize that selling my boat would be such a, a setback. We were looking to turn around and put that money together and upgrade boats. And mainly what we wanted to upgrade was was our engine size. So we had a we had a 35 horsepower Evan Rude, which worked great in the Kansas River, but we wanted to start fishing the Missouri River a little bit more. So we were looking to upgrade to maybe a 50, 60 horsepower Mercury or something like that. Maybe um, something a little bit newer as well. The boat market just went kind of crazy. So we sold my boat and we weren't able to upgrade because prices just went through the roof. I was mainly looking for a, a flat bottom boat that, that was all, all aluminum welded. <clears throat> so the truth of the matter, guys, is that we have not had a boat all year because I sold my boat last year to an awesome subscriber that hopefully he's enjoying the boat and catching fish. Since last fall, I have not had a boat. We have not had a boat. So we have felt a little bit behind the curve Bottom line is guys, like the kit, the bite is on right now and we have to do what we have to do. So even though a lot of uh, the upgrading idea, we noticed when, when we went to go shopping around for different boats, the boat style that I wanted is, is, either, is either junk 
or they're almost 15 to $20,000. So the prices were a little bit outside of our range. So today, what I'm doing is we want to get back on the water. So my parents have an old fishing boat. It's an old sea nymph. And so we're gonna go, I'm gonna go pick that up right now and it needs some work, but it has a good running 50 horsepower motor on it. So we're gonna check this thing out guys and we're gonna see what it needs. I know it needs a floor. So I'm not gonna do, woo. <laughs> so I know that it needs a floor. Um, it's got a couple of soft spots on it. We're gonna try to get it on the water and see if it's worth fixing up see how it handles rivers um, we're gonna start off in some lakes and things like that guys so I'm on my way right now to my my parents house to pick up the boat I think it might even have I might even have a flat tire on one of the trailer tires so when I get there I mean, I'm gonna kind of go over it looks like a couple things that we might need to fix on it but otherwise we we're gonna try and get back on the water this week guys that's how serious we are we're serious people. <laughs> we can be fun and we can be serious, but we love fishing, guys. And we want to get back there on the water and hit some of the places that we know we love and, and find some new ones. So, all right, stick with me. I'm going to go check a look at this boat real quick. All right, guys, so we're here. We're about to check out the boat. No matter what, we're going to make this boat work, guys. So, it is the... fishing machine guys it's not that bad it's really not that bad there's some sheet of plywood I have for the flooring that I'm gonna do here guys now oh, it's heavily weeded in here but I I can't tell if the tire is is all the way down over here or if it's just sink sunken in but you guys can kind of get an idea here it's got some, it, come, it comes with some stuff. So, there's the fishing machine by Sea Nymph. I believe this is, I believe this is a 16 foot. It might, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty close to what we, what we did have before. It might be, might be a little bit more. I'm not quite sure, it might be, but see, it's got a seat that this needs to be done away with. It kind of sucks because I like the logo on the back of it, but it's, yeah, rotten inside, guys. But, um, boat's kind of cool. It's got a little compartment. It's got an extra, got an extra prop in here, guys. Uh, I did bring out a couple hundred dollar battery from the other boat. Um, got some stuff wired up, but I, as you see, it's dirty. As you can see, it's very dirty back in here where, it's hard to show you guys. It's very dirty back in here. And this is obviously, this is where the, this is where the pump should be guys. So I want to definitely clear that area out. Now I was having some problems with this shifting, with the shifting cable, with the shifter here. Um, guys, it, it, for some, wow. Well, for some weird reason, it was having a hard time shifting. Um, it's kind of it's kind of hard to show now, but usually, for for those of you guys that don't don't you really use boats, when you when you push this in, it should go backwards and forwards. And so, I took it off. I took it off, disconnected it. I got one one screw here that's that's giving me a little bit of problem. I want wanted to go and spray it, but I don't want to lose these screws on the way home but so, some of the features on this boat i like guys we got the the trim power trim up and down that's pretty cool i've got the power power trim guys up and down let's go bring in bring ahead bring this up okay so we've got a pretty nice this guy's is a pretty good looking Evan Rude 50 horsepower on here now I've I've actually have I've started this I know I'm gonna get some hate for this guys let's see if it let's see if it cranks a little bit 
Guys, this is no water, nothing. <laughs> You guys hear that? I'm gonna shut it off, but guys, that is, I, I didn't do anything. It didn't prime anything, didn't really choke anything either. But guys, that, whew, that is a good sign. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what else this boat needs. So this is what I'm working with, guys. If you can see, I've just got some, some cleaning up to do. I gotta probably figure out a little bit of some wiring um figure out where the pump is down here make sure that works really uh guys we're wanting to just get this thing on the water so this floor has got a couple of soft spots i think right in there and so i'm gonna i'm gonna cut this sheet of plywood up that's over there i'm gonna go ahead and cut that sheet of plywood up and we're gonna do everything i can just to get this thing on the water so that we can get to some spots, hopefully catch some fish. First off, I want to see if this thing is seaworthy. And some of the research I've done on this actual boat, and I've seen some videos, um, even though it does have this very, you know, very, you know, sharp V right here, it bottoms out pretty, pretty well. And so it actually might even ride a little bit better than the flat bottom, and it's going to chop through that water better. So we're excited, you guys. This top deck, nice and solid. This, this deck actually right in here is solid. We've got, there's a live well right here. I think it's a 20 gallon live well. I believe there's another one back there. This might have two live wells on it, but I know for a fact we've got some storage. So, all right, you guys are gonna see us out on the water. Hopefully we'll have some videos in the next week or so.